Hey everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to day two of Brain Fog Busters. Today's pose is Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. This is a fantastic pose to awaken every part of your body. You're going to stretch from your head to your toes. And if you notice the shape when we take Downward Facing Dog, it's an inverted V or the yantra or form of the mountains upon the earth, which act as acupuncture points. So it really opens up beautiful energy of the earth. So we get to absorb all that wonderful energy from Pachimama. The mountains are majestic and they also represent inner knowledge. And inner knowledge is based on sitting in meditation. So when you take downward facing dog, you become the mountain. It is as if you are moving inside the mountain into that stillness and that quietude, which of course will bring about clarity and focus. So let's get right to it. You want to begin on all fours or your quad, your peg. Think about your hands being shoulder width apart, the wrist and the shoulders being aligned here. Spread the fingers wide. You're going to tuck out your toes and glide the hips upwards towards the dome. Now, depending upon your practice, your knees may be bent, your heels may be off the earth here. Eventually, the thigh bones will move back and the heels will find a descent into the soil of the earth. So let's go through a few cue points. We begin with the hostas or the hands. You want to make sure that you're fully grounding them into the earth. So feel the base of the knuckles, the metacarpals, and then gently squeeze the index and thumb towards one another. You want to let the head be heavy. We don't want to crank the neck and look forward, but rather let it descend towards the earth. And then begin to glide your gaze from feet to shin to knees to thighs and eventually to the belly or the hara. Very important because that's what's going to create what we call a jalarabandha lock or a chin lock here. Because when we take this pose, we actually come into a full seal or mahat seal, which brings about clarity and lightness of the mind. Think side bodies becoming long, hollow out the armpits, the biceps moving forward, triceps flashing backwards. Spread the toes. Don't front load in the pose, meaning taking everything into the wrist, but rather keep gliding the hips upward so you can actually feel the energy moving into the feet or the padas here. Spread the toes wide. Find length through the back body, length through the sides of your neck, length through the entire spine, the shashumna. And then because of this inversion, we're bringing beautiful blood flow throughout the body and into the brain here. So continue to gaze towards the hara or the belly, and we're gonna have a reverse flow of the energy. Everything that normally moves downward from the hips now is going to move upwards towards the heart, creating that full mahat seal. Gently release from the pose, the knees come down. So when you take downward facing dog, you want to make sure you, you go through those cue points and then spend a little time there as long as you can. Again, it's in your practice. And then just begin to breathe, really find the breath body. So downward facing dog is a fantastic pose to not only stretch every part of your body, but you're gonna stretch the mind as well. So enjoy this pose, everyone. Bust through that brain fog and let's keep going forward. Clarity on our path. Namaste.